I go for fans, Mike Grimm from Gopher Radio and GopherSports.com with assistant Gopher men's basketball coach Saul Smith. And we're talking guard play here in this offseason. And uh, take us back, Saul, if you would, from a year ago at this time, heading into last year where you guys were with guards and a few question marks. And now it looks like a lot of those answers have maybe been solidified heading into this season coming up this fall. Absolutely. Uh, I think we lost, uh, you know, Al Nolan and Blake Hoffarber. Guys were veteran seniors guys that we uh, had had a lot of success here and played a lot of minutes, um, bringing in a whole new uh, cast and crew, pretty much other than Maverick, Chip, and Austin. Uh, we were bringing in all, uh, the whole new uh, backcourt. There was a lot of question marks. We went out and tried to find some players that could help us right away in Andre Hollins and then Julian Welch. Uh, those guys come right in. Uh, also, Joe Coleman, neither, neither of those three guys needed any time to get bigger or stronger. They were already Big Ten body ready. Julian had a pretty good year. I think people underestimate maybe what he was able to do in his first year on campus. Absolutely. I mean, you would have thought, you know, that he had been playing at this level for a while, you know, but he had never played this level. He had played at the mid-major level out in California, then he played the junior college level after that. So then you throw him in to the Big Ten level, and he led us in shooting. He led us in three-point shooting. So, hey, we need to get him some more shots. He led us in assist to turnover count. And those are crucial, especially if you want to play the lead position. Make an open shot, take care of the basketball, uh, get your get your teammates where they need to get to, and and, and be tough. Now let's talk about Andre Hollins for a moment. You look at the way he finished last year with that nice run through the uh, Big Ten tournament and the NIT. Uh, how eager are you to see that progress continue and to see what he can bring now in year two? Well, yeah, what a he's got a lot of potential. Um, he showed last year what he's capable of having big nights offensively. Um, you know, when he gets to taking care of the basketball and making some better decisions with his passes, the, you know, the sky's the limit. You saw that he led the league in free throw shooting, so you know you can't foul him. He's strong enough to play the position. He's big enough and, uh, you know, he's pretty much under control. He doesn't like going there and make uh, run guys over or anything like that. So if he can continue to improve step by step and also keep his offensive game going, we're going to be just fine. He shoots a great percentage from the field. Um, and if he can just keep the turnovers down, I think he'll be an all Big Ten performer.